Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. Welcome today to a video that's a bit of a treat for me to make. I hope you've noticed already, but I'm fairly circumspect about the labels that I apply to the watches I review. I try not to use too much clickbait, maybe a little bit occasionally, and I try to avoid hyperbole. Occasionally I will ask a question, is this the best blah blah blah, but I think only on two or maybe three occasions have I actually come out and said, this is the best with an exclamation mark, not a question mark. Today, you will see an exclamation mark on the thumbnail of this video. I think that the object of today's review, the Laco Akin, is the best budget Flieger that you can buy. Now, what is budget? The whole pitch of the channel is 500 US dollars or less, but this watch comes in at well under that. Uh, my current conversions, I reckon this one is gonna cost you about 370 US dollars shipped. Now, these Pilots watches don't tend to have the, the dollar dazzler specifications that you get with a dive watch, no helium escape valves, no massive water resistance levels or stainless steel bracelets. I usually try and avoid frothing about individual brands. I usually try and keep my reviews more objective than that. However, I think today a lot of the value in this watch does actually come from the brand, the brand name, and the little made in Germany on the bottom of the dial. It's a Flieger after all. All right, let's flip the camera and have a look at it. Well, having said that I don't normally froth over the companies, I'm gonna start this video review by frothing over the company. As you can see there, Laco 1925, clearly substantial packaging on this one. Laco have been making watches in Forsheim in Germany since 1925, you guessed it. And in the 1930s, they were one of five German companies authorized and employed by the German government to make Flieger watches for the German Air Force, the Luftwaffe. Uh, that German government, of course, at the time was Hitler's Reich. But hey, you can't change history. You can only hope to learn from it. Very nice packaging here today with this one. We've got a nice flight tag, very appropriate considering it's a Flieger, Laco made in Germany and removed before flight, and a fairly considerable large PU leatherette type travel pouch. Very useful, it's gonna protect this watch nicely if you do go on holiday with this one, and there is the watch. So this is the Aachen model, as mentioned in the intro. It is also the 39 millimeter. Now they do a quartz version of this watch. I recommend that you save your pennies and you save up for the automatic. They do a 42 and a 39. Big thanks to Sarah from Laco for sending me this one for review. She actually gave me the choice of watches and I picked this one. However, I think I made a mistake. I think I should have gone for the larger 42 millimeter size. Not that this 39 isn't beautifully proportioned and not that it doesn't have a place in the market. However, I think the bigger is better with these ones. I should have opted for the slightly larger size. Two year international warranty and small but functional instruction manual for this one. Surprise, surprise, 39 millimeters in diameter, bang on 12 millimeters thick nice and compact 46 mil lug to lug, 18 mil lug width on this slightly smaller model, and on the supplied leather strap weighing in at 83 grams. So very sweetly proportioned little watch this one. The larger 42 mil size is the same price and it has 20 mil lug width, same movement, same specifications, just that dimensional difference. 316 stainless steel three piece case and lovely, very fitting onion style crown there, also made of 316L stainless steel. 50 meters water resistant. This is a stainless steel case back, and as you can see there, it is a display case back, but just pressed, not screw down. Pilot's watch. Uh, you're not going to be getting this one wet, especially not as it is on a leather strap. Let's talk about the movement early today. As you can see there, this one, display case back, skeletonized rotor, uh, Leiko watches made in Germany, a custom rotor. This is the Miota 821A. Now I have a well-known love-hate relationship with these Miota 8000 series derivative movement. The 8215 I find to be a bit of a dog, a kind of rough, noisy, unidirectional winding, 
uh, not all that fantastic. This 821A is a kind of a Labore grade version, if you will, as you can see there, lightweight rotor, a little bit of Geneva striping, uh, not a bad looking movement if you're gonna pop a display case back on them. Now, I think in the wrong case, this is the wrong movement. Uh, they can be noisy, you can hear the clicking and ticking as that rotor engages and disengages, but obviously only in the one direction. There's also a little bit of Miota rotor wobble also. However, I think this is the right case. It's sturdy enough that you do not hear the rotor clicking away, you do not hear the movement. So not a bad choice. And they're also very, very consistent. These ones are pop up a movement accuracy report, pretty much bang on two weeks and pretty much bang on seven seconds a day and very, very consistent with it. They hand wind, but they do not hack. 21 joule, 40 hour power reserve. Now the 3K movements, that means six ticks per second, 21,600 vibrations per hour. But the fact that they are a 3K movement means that they're pretty reliable and they probably won't need serviced all that often as well. And these cheaper end Japanese movements have the added advantage of being more economically viable to service when the time comes, certainly a lot cheaper than the equivalent Swiss movement would be. But enough of the back, let's look at the front and you will find a classic Type B Flieger dial. I will pop up a picture of old Laco and new Laco. As you can see, this design hasn't changed since the 1930s and neither it should. Super, super legible and just beautiful in proportions. Fantastic kind of sword handset there. Uh, the hour hand shortened so that it rotates perfectly on that inner circle there, which has the, the hour markers, the, the one to 12 Arabics and a lovely big long minute hand all the way around the outer track there, again in, in five minute margins on the minute track, and a fantastically elongated second hand also pushing out to the very extremities of that minute track, and as you can see there, the lollipop, the, the balance, the counterbalance of their second hand is blacked out, so it has a, a lovely stealthy look when the, the second hand is in operation. All printed dial, no applied numerals today, but the added convenience that the fact that that entire dial is loomed. And there is the equivalent loom shot. C3 Superluminova, gobfuls of it. It is a treat to wear this watch after dark. It really is. So much loom, I wasn't expecting it to be quite that good. C3, definitely my preferred choice of loom because of that bright green color, because it has an extra step up in quality over C1. Uh, this one lasts the duration of the night as well. So top marks for loom then for the Laco. Dead flat piece of sapphire crystal, very much in keeping with the original designs of these ones going back to the 1930s, as is this Kraken, big thick calf leather riveted strap. Great stitching there, uh, quite stiff, it's gonna take some getting used to, some breaking in, but I think this one will serve this watch very well in the future. And always nice to see a buckle engraved with the brand name there. Kind of bead blasted finish in keeping with the lack of shiny surfaces on this watch. And there is the watch sitting on top of my seven inch wrist. Looks very nice, the 39mm size, but as I said, I would have no problems recommending you to go for the slightly larger 42mm if you have similar size wrist to me or or slightly larger than that. Nice leather strap has noted those rivets, plenty of stitching, old fashioned in look, very thick and robust. That one should be with you for many years to come. And zoomed out for a little bit of perspective on this one. Very simple case design today, not flash, nothing too elaborate, very consistent brushed finish throughout though. Very sweet fit on the wrist due to that 46 mil lug tip to lug tip. No AR on the Sapphire as noted, but not gonna be much of an impediment in operation. And there it is, out and about in the Sydney sunshine. Is it just me or is it always sunny in Sydney? No polished surfaces on the watch, I think are a good move. Uh, means that you don't get the glint and the glare that you would do if there were polished surfaces on the case and the lugs, for example. I don't think there's any AR coating on the Sapphire as mentioned, but super legible, these Fliegers. With field watches, the most legible watches you can buy, really, so no issues there. 
Well, moans and niggles today are few and far between. I think this is a, a very nicely manufactured quality watch with the, the right brand on the dial and those magic words made in Germany on the bottom as well. The Miyota 8000 series, as mentioned, uh, no hacking. So if that's a, a thing for you, if you're OCD about setting the time exactly, then perhaps you need to look at their more expensive models in the lineup. And there is a little bit of a, a rotor wobble from this one when on the wrist, but nothing that would put me off this watch. I think that for around 370 US dollars delivered, a little more if you're in the EU and paying that 19% VAT, this one actually a pretty good deal. Doesn't have the stellar specs that you get from a diver at this price point, but does have close to 100 years of history behind it and a classic Flieger look. So there you have it, the Laco Akinen. Really, really nice, well done Flieger with nearly 100 years of history and heritage behind the company. They've been making these watches since the 1940s. Now I got it wrong. I should have asked for the 42 rather than the 39. My mistake, I'll know next time when I'm reviewing a pilot's watch, bigger is better. But that's not to say that this 39 mil doesn't have a place in the market. If you are a gentleman with smaller wrists or perhaps a lady who's into this look, then the, the Akin 39 mil I think is a cracker. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.